Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay. Today I am looking at the Donna Echo Square Delay Pedal. I have been drinking cider at his father's day and I'm wearing an Ewok t-shirt. What could go wrong? What is the Donna Echo Square Delay Pedal? I hear nobody cry because it's called a delay pedal, but it is a seven function delay pedal because apparently there are seven different types of delay. Um, if you're wondering what delay is and you're new to the channel, I always like to explain what these pedals do. Delay pedal takes your signal when you play a note, takes it, delays it by a certain amount and repeats it a, new, a number of times. In the meantime, it can filter it and do other cool stuff with it. So the Donner Echo Square has seven different uh, types of delay. It has digital, which takes the signal and does an exact repeat of it uh, until it decays off. Has analog and tape, which both add a varying amount of kind of decay to the actual signal, uh, the repeated signal, which gives it a kind of a warmer feel, a bit less, well, a bit less sort of clinical and digital. Uh, modulated, which gives you uh, a kind of chorus effect on each of the repeats. Sweep, which gives you this really cool auto wah effect to each repeat. Uh, Lo-fi, which is kind of a bit crusher, which means that it makes it sound a bit like, each repeat sounds a bit like Mario farting from like the old 8-bit days, uh, uh, which is cooler than it sounds actually. And reverse, well it reverses each of the delays, which is quite a cool effect as well. On top of that, we have mix, time and feedback. Mix just basically changes the, the volume of the input signal compared to the repeated signal. The, the higher the mix, the louder the repeats are. Time gives you the amount of time between plucking the note and the repeated note, and it's from slap back to you know, sort of half a second or so. Uh, and then feedback is the number of repeats. So the higher the feedback, the more it repeats until you get into the weird kind of sci-fi um, looping echo. Anyway, that's enough of me talking for now. I'm going to play a demo using just a loop pedal and a few chords just so that you can hear what each of the different um, delays sounds like and then I'll give you a bit of a, a, a round up at the end. See you in a second. So continuing the obvious level of professionalism, I'm kneeling on the floor. In front of me I have the Echo Square uh, and I have a looper pedal. I'm just going to play a loop with clean chords, distorted chords and some single notes through each of the settings um, and then I'll change and fiddle around with some of the, the, the mix and the time and the feedback just so you can hear the difference on a few of the settings as well. So we're going to start with digital and move from there. This is the clean sound by the way. Now we're going to put some uh, digital echo on there and let's see what this sounds like.
So that's all of the uh, settings, that's all the various sort of, so that's all of the echo types. What I'll do now is I'll just go through a few of them and just play around with the settings so you can hear what the feedback, what the time, what the mix do. <clears throat> and focus a little bit on the more special effects with the lo-fi, the sweep and the reverse, just so you can hear the real kind of difference in tones. So starting, <clears throat> I'll start at the beginning, work my way around and just change settings as we go, okay? Okay, so what did you think? There are some great sounds in this. My favorite is tape. That's what I recorded the, the mix demo at the very beginning using. Um, I think the lo-fi is great fun, that kind of bit crusher kind of sound. I quite like that. Uh, reverse is quite fun. But yeah, for me, it's where it tapes where it out. Now, when you consider this is a 30 pound pedal, it is solid aluminum case. And this, is, this will go through the window if I threw it, which the wife wouldn't like. Um, it is a true bypass, which means that when you switch it off, it doesn't mess with the signal. Because some pedals, especially the older pedals, didn't actually bypass the signal properly, and you'd get some kind of d decay of the signal through the pedal, um, if you're wondering what true bypass actually means. Um, and it's, it's, it's small, it sits very nicely in my, uh, my pedal board, yeah, it does the job really nicely. If I had one particular complaint, it would be just how fiddly these small pedals can be to get a good, to get just the right setting, but a tiny complaint compared to what you're getting for the money. So like I say, what do you think? Tell me in the comments. Tell me if you've played with any delay pedals that are better than this for the same sort of price. Tell me if you have played ones that are a bit more expensive, but you think offer better value for money. Tell me if there are any other pedals you want me to do from the Donna range, because I've been doing quite a few reviews of them now. Um, and I'm sure there are more that I haven't looked at. Um, are there any other brands in this price bracket I should be looking at, uh, price bracket that I should be looking at? Um, but yeah, comment, subscribe, definitely subscribe. Need more subscribers. More subscribers means more videos, more stuff I can do, more fun. Uh, hit the notify button so you can get my uh, updates when I do them. And until next time, I will see you soon. Cheers, guys.